Okay, well, here we are at the USS Silversides Museum, and I'm here with TJ that's going to show us around. And this is a cool room we're in here, but tell us a little bit about the museum and everything that's here. Well, the museum consists of uh, two vessels. We have the Silverside Submarine and the Coast Guard Cutter McLean. Uh, it started quite a while ago with bringing the submarine here, oh, about 30 years ago. Wow. A little bit later, they brought the Coast Guard Cutter. They had some trailers out front that were kind of a ticket booth style thing, and then they built this museum in 2008. Okay, well, that's awesome. Let's go uh, take a look around and find out a little bit more. The start of the museum is really right here with the beginning with Pearl Harbor and then a timeline of World War II itself. Of course, you can't talk about submarines without talking about torpedoes. We got a selection of them here from World War II. One of the problems with the Mark 14 torpedoes at the beginning of World War II was with the depth gauges and also with the uh, firing mechanisms. Um, one of the admirals thought it was the captains. It turned out actually to be the torpedoes. And once they fixed that, then we sunk more and more and more ships after that. You can actually look through a real periscope right inside the museum. This is the actual control panel from the nuclear silver sides. She already got scrapped, so we've got the original. It's a great view of the submarine up here. Also, the Coast Guard Cutter McLean off here. That's our second vessel, and you can explore her. She's from the Prohibition era, and she also sank a Japanese submarine in World War II. All right, well, here you get to actually check out this big gun. This is an awesome place. Not only the museum, but getting to get out on the submarine, this hands-on thing. One of the guns on board was a 40 millimeter anti-aircraft gun. Airplanes are very dangerous for submarines. Come down here and make Swiss cheese out of this thing. First thing we do is we bring people in here to the forward torpedo bay, show them where the torpedo tubes were, show them torpedoes on either side here, and the bunks. You get to actually sleep with the torpedoes. We're in the control room right now. They divided it into two sides. One side was the wet side that let water into the ballast tanks, and then the dry side over here helped get that water with pressure back out of the tank so the submarine could rise to the surface. Hey, is my order up yet? This is the uh, mess hall and the kitchen on board the Silver Sides. Of course, the most popular thing is the uh, coffee pot to your right there. But they had a little bit of everything and they also had a baker on board to make chocolate pies and cakes and cookies and donuts and whatever the guys wanted. Best food in the Navy on a submarine. We're in the maneuvering room. There were two electricians that stood here all day, switching out with guys on other shifts. And this is where they'd shift energy through the boat. Something called St. Elmo's Fire has actually happened on board these submarines before. There's a lathe over in the corner there. Uh, they had all the tools they needed to fix things on board. They sometimes had to. Well, we're all done here at the USS Silversides. It's been awesome getting on the submarine, getting to check everything out seeing everything they have to offer at the museum. And if you're here in the Muskegon area, Western Michigan, be sure to come check it out. Or if you're planning on making a visit, make sure this is one of the places you come and see. But I've had a great time. I hope you have enjoyed seeing it with me and we'll see you next time on the road.
Hello everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. To see more videos like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button below to get all of the latest content from TCT Ministries. We would love to pray alongside you for God's blessing in your life. So email your prayer requests to prayer at tct.tv or click the link below to submit your request at tct.tv. God bless you and we wanna thank you for watching.